Evidence-based practice is a problem-solving approach to the delivery of healthcare that integrates the best evidences from studies and patient experiences and values. So we have studies out there, researchers out there. We are just getting it. We are not doing research here. And we use the patient care data out there, what's happening from our critical thinking, from our clinicians' data. And we use our expertise integrating with patients' experience and values regarding what they want for their care. We want to include them in their care, right? And utilize that for better outcome. What is the importance of evidence-based practice? Great importance for our organization, for the profession, as well as for the person who is involved in it. For the organization, we have said that the outcome, right? It improves value, it improves outcome, it reduces cost. Why don't you want to implement something like that? What it does is it enables the healthcare professionals to provide safe, quality, and effective care. When this happens, the outcome is less. People will stay in the hospital less, less infection. They'll be able to discharge, go home feeling better. What are they going to say? Oh, that hospital is great. I went there within a week or within a few days. My surgery was done. I did not have any infection. I have got the best care from the nurses there. The doctors were great. The other team members were great. The lab laboratory was great. Radiology, everything is kind of like they will have a great impression about the hospital. When they go out, they will recommend that. The business goes up. That motivates people to practice more and more better practices out there. So it's kind of like you become kind of a, like a, you know, it's like a vicious cycle of best care, best practices, that's the best hospital. For the profession, we always struggle. We have a wealth of knowledge. India produces one of the largest, best group of nurses in the world. I have worked in the Middle East, I worked in the US, I worked in India, both in military setup as well as in the civil setup. No matter where I went, our nurses are great. I came here, I only had to take a NCLEX, the RN license exam. That's all. I didn't have to do any course. Any other professionals who come here other than I feel that IT and certain engineering, almost all other professions, they have to go back to school to learn something to practice. Nursing is not like that. If you have uh, known people from Australia, New Zealand, England, no matter where they are gone, in India or outside, once you finish your course, you get your license, we are producing world-class nurses. But where is our profession, professional practice in India? Basically, I want to talk about that because the audience is here from India. It took years here in the US. So that's what I just want to share that evidence-based practice is something which is in our hands to improve our profession. Our profession belongs to us, us nurses. Others are not there to dictate us how we should practice, how to show compassion to a patient, how to give background, how to do a dressing. These are basic nursing things. So who take ownership of that? We are the one to take ownership of that. How do we do that? By gaining the knowledge, by gaining the skill, by finding the literature's best research out there regarding these practices, showing I can improve my nursing practice based on these evidences and step by step, whether it is a clinical practice, whether it's a nursing education, whether it's a nursing administration, I truly believe our country will become autonomous in nursing profession Eventually, the nursing administration is the one taking over the nursing profession. Not another profession is controlling nursing. And I feel in my lifetime that will happen. And that is my aim to, to propagate, like, you know, to em empower nurses all over to say that, yes, it is possible. And it starts from you and me. And how do we do that is showing with our knowledge by bringing if someone else is doing this why can't we do it and proving it yes we can take ownership of profession for more updates 
subscribe to our channel click the links shown on the screen to stay connected